Another movie debuting today is directed by one of the industry's most respected talents, John Borman. Leonard Maltin is here with a review of The Emerald Forest. Come on, Tommy. I'm not playing around now. I'm gonna bust your behind when I get you, son. A seven-year-old boy has been kidnapped, and his father spends 10 years searching for him in the Amazon rainforest. But that's not the story of the Emerald Forest. That's just the beginning, because the father does find his son after 10 years, but discovers that the boy has become the member of a jungle tribe. There's a lot of action and adventure in John Borman's film, but the director's real interest and real strength is in showing how these jungle people live today, removed from civilization and steeped in their own mystical traditions. This is an interesting film, beautifully photographed and filled with great sights and sounds. I'd recommend The Emerald Forest to anyone looking for something different and unusual, but I kept feeling I should have liked it more. And I think I figured out what's missing for me, emotion. There's no emotional pull in the story of the father and son. That 10-year search, it's covered by a subtitle. And we never get to share what either the father or the son is feeling. So what we've got is a fascinating look at a unique way of life. What we don't have is a solid story, which is too bad. This might have been a great movie, but it's still an interesting one and well worth a seven. I'm Leonard Malton, Entertainment Tonight.